How to create animated 3D gold text in DaVinci Resolve 19.0.3. Inside your project edit window, go to effects. Underneath toolbox, select effects. Go to click and drag a fusion composition clip to your edit timeline. Select your clip, hold in control or command if you're a Mac user and press D to modify the duration of this clip if you wish. In this case, I will increase the overall duration from 5 to 10 seconds and 0 frames. Click Change when you're done. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Node section, go to click and add a Text 3D node. Select either left or right view underneath this new node to see a preview of your text message above your Fusion timeline. With the Text 3D node selected, underneath Inspector and Text, Type in the message that you wish to have appear in your 3D text video clip. Modify the font and the weight as you wish. Here in this example I will choose a bold Myriad Pro font. Scroll down the text options and open Extrusion. Increment Extrusion Depth to 0.125 to create the three-dimensional appearance. Scroll back up the Inspector window and select Transform to create the slow rotating animation effect in this preview. With frame 0 selected, I will click on the keyframe diamond icon next to rotation Y, and will set the value to this property at minus 12 to reposition the text at an angle. To ensure a slow and smooth rotation of this text, I will have the value for rotation Y decrement at minus 4 per 5 seconds of screen time. If I drag the red frame pointer on my fusion timeline to the final frame in my video clip which is 239, I will change the value here to minus 20, given my original Fusion Composition clip duration of 10 seconds. In order to apply the colour shade to the text now, with Text 3D1 selected, hold in Shift and press Space, use the search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window to find Replace Material 3D. Select this, and go to click on Add. Text 3D1 should be automatically connected to screen input for this new node. Go to Effects above your Fusion Preview window, select Templates and Fusion, select Shaders, click on the Chrome option to add this node to your project. Close the Effects menu. With the grouped Chrome node selected, go to Inspector, double click on the white box next to Diffuse Color, and enter in the following hexadecimal code in the HTML box, hash FFD322. To add a vibrant yellow gold colour shade, click OK. Click on the grey box next to Chrome and drag your mouse cursor to the green arrow alongside Replace Material. You should now see the gold Chrome effect applied to your text. Reselect Replace Material 3D, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Render a 3D tool, which will enable this effect to be processed by DaVinci Resolve. Select either left or right view underneath Render a 3D to see a preview of the text in its current state. If you wish to change the position and the size of your text, return to Text 3D1, and underneath Transform, increment the value for Scale if you wish to increase the text size, and alter the coordinates of your text on screen by changing the values for translation X, Y and Z, X for horizontal manipulation, Y for vertical change, and Z for a zoom in or out effect. In this case, to move the text slightly down towards the middle, I will decrement translation Y to minus 0.25. Click and highlight the four nodes that make up your text. Hold in Ctrl and press G to group these. Hold in Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect group 1. And hold in Ctrl and press V to paste. We will use this duplicated group node to establish the point on your canvas where the spawning particles emit from your text. You can make it easier to distinguish each of these groups by selecting each group node and by pressing F2 to rename these. Deselect your nodes. Go to add a P emitter node. With this new node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls to avoid having too many particles emitting from the text, which could lead to obstruction, I will reduce the value for number from 10 to 0.8. And to vary the number of particles that are spawning at any instance, I will increment the value for number variance to 0.1. To ensure that the particles don't float too far away from the text, I will decrement lifespan to 75. And again for variation purposes, so that some particles fade out quicker than others, I will increment lifespan variance to 10. To apply particle movement, 
go to velocity and to create a gentle movement speed I will increment velocity to 0.005 with a velocity variance of 0.002 to apply further differences to the behavior of each particle and to ensure that particles spread out in all directions increment angle variance to 360 go to style to create the appearance of the particle change style from point to blob go to color controls double click on the white box next to color and add the same hexadecimal code to the html box in the color window hash ffd322 click ok go to size controls I will increment the value for size variance slightly to 0.075 and to have the particles set at a maximum size at their emission and shrink as their lifespan goes on ensure that the yellow line on your size over life graph is diagonal from the top left to the bottom right click on each of the nodes on the left and the right side to drag these accordingly go to fade controls I wish for each particle to start fading out after the first 10% of their lifespans Therefore, fade out needs to be changed to 0.1 to represent 10%. And to use the position of the text as the point on the canvas where the particles spawn from, go to Region, change Region from Sphere to Bitmap. You should now see a yellow arrow appearing alongside P emitter 1. Click on the grey box alongside your particles group and drag the mouse cursor along to the yellow arrow alongside P emitter 1 to make a connection. With P emitter still selected, hold and shift and press space and go to add a P turbulence node, which we will use to make the particles change direction as they float on screen. With P turbulence still selected, go to inspector and underneath controls, decrement X, Y and Z strength to 0.01. This will ensure that the gentle particle movement in all directions is well balanced. With P turbulence still selected, hold and shift and press space and go to add a P render tool. This node will enable your particle effect to be processed by the DaVinci Resolve software. And to make the particles glow slightly, with P render 1 selected, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a glow tool. With glow 1 selected, go to inspector and underneath controls. To prevent the glow from stretching out too far beyond the particles, decrement glow size to 0.1. To increase the intensity of the glow slightly so that the particles stand out, I will increment glow to 0.98. And to make the particles more visible on screen, increment the value for blend. Here in this example, I will increase this to the maximum value of 1. And to ensure that these particles appear behind your text with glow 1 selected, go to add a merge tool. Click on the grey box alongside merge 1 and connect this to the yellow arrow alongside media out 1. And finally, to add a gentle glow to your text, select the text group node, hold and shift and press space, and go to add soft glow. Connect this new node to the green arrow of merge 1, so that your text effect appears in the foreground. Select left or right view underneath media out 1, so that you can see a preview of your overall effect. With soft glow selected, go to inspector, and underneath controls, increase threshold to 0.3 so that the different golden shades stand out better. To reduce the intensity of the glow, decrease gain. Here in this case, I will reduce this value to 0.65. And to spread the glow effect out further, I will increase the value of glow size to 31.5. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.